Okay, the time is 8.11 p.m. Um, it's Sunday, March 29. Now, uh, there's something um, I'm going to go over here. Uh, let me go over to my camera. If I can find it. There it is. Okay, um, I've tried this like around three different times, and uh, I'm gonna. And I already know. Chances are it may work after this. This is the whole point of what they do. They'll uh, fuck with something until they get a reaction, and then they'll leave it alone the minute you you know you're ready to actually talk out about it. So I want to show everybody this. Um, I'm gonna show you right now. You see how that's uh, where that's stuck at? That says sixty. Uh, and it's checking the system storage status, if you're wondering about this. Now, here's the thing. I don't live with anybody. Um, I don't have no roommates. I don't bring people in here at all, at all. There are people coming in here when I'm gone, and they are fucking around with things in my uh, apartment unit. Um, this could be as far as from the outlets. There's, uh, there's been hidden illegal uh, surveillance equipment installed in my unit. Um, I did not go digging around for it, but I did use the detector to detect its locations, and I have uh, most of the areas, uh, you know, covered up. Now, um, there could be other ones in here, most likely, because, like, these, these weirdos, they put this stuff everywhere, man. Now, um, the reason why I'm showing this as it is, now, this, these, this is three times I've tried this. This will just be my documentation on this. Now, with me making this video, I can guarantee you they're going to leave it alone. At this point, they're not going to fuck with it after this. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But um, I'm just doing this as documentation regardless. Even if they still do it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I want to make this as a point, though, because normally I would not react to something. Normally I would not react to something like this. But you got to understand, when it comes to materialistic things, it's a means to an end, okay? It's a means to an end. Um... They will use shit like this to uh, to put you in a depressive state, right? They'll use stuff like this to put you in a certain state. And it's, it's not the fact that the object that they give a fuck about, okay? That's not it. That's not it. It's that control that they want. They will fuck with many different things that you have because they're desperate for that control. That's what the devil wants, man. The devil wants that control over you. It wants to fill you with fear. It wants to fill you with desperation. It wants to fill you with all these many different things. Now, if you're wondering, well, why they gone this, uh, gotten this bold all of a sudden? Let me see. This thing's still going on. Oh, wow. So that stopped, right? Okay. Oh, no, it couldn't stop. Okay, awesome. I didn't know if it was still going or not. Um, it must have been the camera that clicked out. But, uh, yeah, um, hang on. Now it went up to around 70. It's just, at this point, what they're, if you want to know what they're doing, they're manipulating their structure. But here's the deal. Um, someone would have had to come in here to fuck with this, okay? This does, uh, checking the system storage, this nev it never takes this long, ever. Um, another thing about this is that, like, when the uh, when I when I do I'm gonna redo this and uh, the whole point of me redoing this is because uh, this it's the next thing that you're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of slowing down as this thing does and um, that's proof that there's actually something going on in the background of this system that's there's tampering going on with so this is basically me getting evidence of someone hacking my uh, equipment in here and. For someone to do this, well, they would have had to come in here. They would have had to. Uh, another thing, uh, one of my keys is missing to my unit. Someone would have had to come in here and steal that. Another thing, um, another piece of equipment came up missing. I'm not going to say what it is, but uh, that also came up missing. That makes a total of uh, three things that came up stolen or uh, tampered with. Now, the, other, the third thing that came up stolen was a uh, black jacket of mine. Um, again, materialistic shit, okay? And part of my language, but you guys cannot really put a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, that into these things because, well, it, it, it just, it just shows you like how often they will go just to mess with you. 
it, it just shows you just how desperate they will get. And let, let me tell you, even when me, I'm going to go ahead and say, normally I would not even care about this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, They'll send someone wearing the damn thing and uh, they literally just walk right in front of me saying uh, as if they're saying, ha ha, we got this. And I'm like, OK, I mean, what the hell of it? It's just materialistic items, dude. It's it's nothing. That's something that can be replaced. I mean, if that's the best you can do, I mean, then, well, I'm just going to laugh right in your face because that's pretty damn pathetic. Seriously. A mindset like that from coming from a person who acts, you know, who does stuff, petty little things like that. It's just to the point to where, man, like they. You can't you can't see these pe- you can't see these individuals as people anymore. You can't. My apologies if my uh, voice is a bit muffled. I got my face mask on. I had uh, ordered some in from Amazon. They did try listing a nanotech on with that, but lucky for me, these things were sealed off in their own little uh, individual bags. If you're wondering how to, uh, you know, kill the stuff off when they do crap like that, simple. Just get a bag and put it, uh, fill it with the, uh, you know, baking soda, and then just shake the crap out of that, and then you kill it right off. Um. Right now, like the entire day, I'm just going to go ahead and say it because even now they're listening in. OK, you got to understand, even now, as I am speaking, they are listening in and they're trying to figure out what they can use to basically, uh, you know, get get into a person's head. So understand that th- that's precisely what they're fixated on is to get a reaction to get the person's attention. And that's what it is. Again, right now, as it's quiet as it is, they are listening in. Um, another thing about this is that uh, there's been uh, it isn't just that that's come up missing. There's been like several other things, but um, if they didn't understand, like that, I just didn't give a fuck about any of that stuff, and that like the more and more stuff that happens, I'm just gonna document it down. Um, so when that, when it comes time for me to actually, uh, you know, go forward with this, I'm going to have, I'm going to actually have more than enough evidence to where I cannot be discredited. You see, that's my whole point is to basically do it that way, because if I do it that way, they can't, they, 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 there's, there's nothing else they can, there's nothing they can do. And if I, if I get a change of keys, well, guess what? Who, I mean, if something else happens, well, uh. Who the fuck gave them a key? I could get a security uh, system installed in here because I mean I know I know exactly what kind of security system to get to where well they can't fuck with it. And if it um, I have the setting uh, set to a preset and I'm gonna do an over over video on that to let people you know to give out the word that well this will be set to this me myself and I will not be changing these settings. If they are changed, tampered with, or messed with in any way, if there are gaps in videos, if there are anything that's been turned off that has not been uploaded, this will be my evidence, my evidence to prove that there are individuals illegally coming in here, tampering with my personal property, and doing this and uh, for several different methods. You see, I want this stuff to tie together so I can go after the bastard who hired them in the first place. You see, that's my point. You got you, you can't you can go after these idiots who are just popping up all you want, but you will never stop this unless you go after the asshole who started it. Um this this stupid thing is just gonna uh it, it, it's not gonna work. Um because at this point, like they just slowing the process now and they're gonna keep fucking doing that. They're doing a lot of this for reactions. Even now, I should not even be saying a damn thing. I really shouldn't. But um, I feel like if I don't, at least every once in a while, then other people who are not aware will just be, you know, ended up on the short stick with this uh, BS that they like to pull every now and then. Now, am I mad? Am I angry? Am I upset? No. No. 
Because you see, I don't give my enemies what they want. I'm not finna give them that. No, absolutely not. And uh, th this is precisely for good reason. Am I going to fear them? No. Why? Because guess what? The devil wants you to fear and be being afraid so you can be controlled, right? Exactly. Um, am I going to be in a state of uh, desperism over a stupid device? No. No. Because I know in the end, like all of this stuff that they do, the most high is seeing all of it. At whatever perpetrators acts that they do, the most high is seeing this. So when they come, when judgment day comes and they have to answer for the stuff that they do. And again, this relate this relates even back to my childhood too, because, um, look, man, I don't care what a person has to say about another individual. If you have a situation to where you were born into this world and you were a kid and it, and assholes literally just, uh, basically bum rush these, uh, any type of, uh, you know, lifestyle into your life. When you didn't even ask for that shit, well, guess what? Who who do you think his fault is that? And this has been the same thing that I've debated and said for years, man. I blame the assholes who basically distribute this kind of behavior and uh, said type of ludism or whatever it is that's been fucking people up in the long run because that's the main problem. They, these idiots don't want to blame the um, the people who, inf you know, the pushers who influence this shit. They want to blame the victims, the people who perpetrate it. But in the end, they are being, you know, used to do this. I'm not saying all gang stalkers are like this. No, I'm talking about people who are being pushed into this at the start from an early age who are already just infected with this, uh, this um, corruptive behavior, this mentality to uh, basically covertly just harass people like this. Because believe you me, this starts at a very early age. This starts as far as going back as to, uh, you know what? I don't even know why I'm even letting that go like that. Um, let me turn this thing off. Because uh, I think they're installing something in the background of the system if I let it go like that. But I don't know, and I really could care less. But I want to just go ahead and show you all this, um, just so you know. Now, when you reinitialize a system... It's supposed to delete all data off the system and then just start off from scratch, from back from factory reset itself. Now, I'm going to show you this. And this is going to be uh, the end of this because after this, I'm not even going to fuck with it no more. As you can see, connect DualShock 4 USB. Just give me a second. Um, oh, I'm going to plant this fell over. Uh, okay, let me go back, show you this. Now you see that, right? Initialize PS4. Let me do that. Go to yes. Now then, I guarantee you, uh, they're probably not going to fuck with it. They're probably not. And I already know. Because that's, that, that's how they do things. That's exactly how they do it. But you need to uh, basically do overt um, documentation on everything that's happening. Don't do it and don't complain about it the minute it happens. No, just take it down as documentation. The more shit happens, just take it down, man. Dot that stuff down. The more detailed you got, the better. And that's how you do it. The more detailed you got, the better. Now, again, today I was at work. I didn't get back until like between around uh both, both between both 5 and 6.15 p.m., um, when I got back, I realized that I had two packages downstairs, so I went downstairs to go grab those. Um, but prior to before that, uh, well, like, I mean, this is just another situation that's been going on. I've showed um, my evidence as far as hacking with my phones. I've showed and I'm showing evidence of something hacking that's not even uh, something that I, I walk around with. I don't take this thing out nowhere. I leave it in here at all times. And even I was even the bait. I wasn't even serious about getting this stupid thing to tell you the truth. I really wasn't. The only reason why I really got it is to really just to, out of some hope to be able to warn everybody that I knew on P on the PSN network about the bullshit that was going on. But like I had to be very careful with it. 
Um, again, you see how like it's already full, but it's taking that long. That that's someone messing with it. That's someone messing with that. Um, and even more proof. You can see the little bar right there. They, uh, I mean, that's just it. Now, here's the thing. The entire day that has gone by, I did not give them a damn reaction to shit. Not a damn one. They got. I'm not going to say what tactics they use to do what, because again, they're listening in. They want to know what I'm reacting to. They want to know what I'm going to react to. They want to know what's going to get my attention, what's going to get me to talk, what's going to get me to act out, what's going to get me aggravated, what's going to get me happy, what's going to get me sad. And that's just it. They, this, I'm, I want people to understand this exactly from what it is. And again, normally I would not even be responding like this, but I, I mean, I, I, if I'm being dealt with like this, then you are, I can already tell somebody else is going through the exact same way, but they have absolutely no idea how to deal with it. Um, so again, man, just, again, just take your documentation down, do as much detail as you can. Um, now I have proof of where I've been. I, I, I have proof of where I've been. Um, the cameras see me all over the warehouse when I'm working. The uh, clock in machine has me clocking in that I got the check to prove it too, as far as my time. So I know I haven't been here for a certain amount of time. Whoever's been sneaking in and out of here could have easily been doing this for who knows how long from when I was gone, from when I came back or who knows what, you know? But, um, yeah, man, here's the bigger problem with this. I don't know who these people are that are doing this. I have absolutely no idea, but I do have an idea. I do know how far this is going. This is going as far as from my job, as far as this whole, uh, damn near this whole complex. And as well as people from even farther out areas of the freaking neighborhood. that are like near, I don't know what, like Bard Avenue, Shearwood, um, Forest and all that stuff like that. On Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yeah, there's people coming from those street lines. Even from, uh, even all, yeah, again, uh, off of Florida Boulevard too. There are people coming from those particular parts of the neighborhoods. And even going even farther down into the dirty slums of the neighborhoods. All from over there, making their way down here to do this dirty work of which they were hired to do. Now, if you want to know why the, the full scenario of this, here's the deal. My job is basically, and if you want to know what my job's name is, it is AG Associated Grocers. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right off the bat. You can go ahead and look this up and see uh, the amount of, um, oh, I don't know. You can go ahead and look this up and see the amount of complaints that they've had. On the uh, on the uh, on, on, on their reviews, previous workers who have worked there and they all had say the same statement. They were treated like shit, unfairly paid poorly. And it was just a whole bunch of bullshit. Now, I'm not going to get in trouble for even mention talking like or mention or saying anything about this. You want to know why? Because first off, how would they even know unless they were stalking me? Now, you see that? You see that you see you see what I just did right there? How would you even know how would they even know anything about this unless they were stalking me? And that's recipe for a lawsuit for me right there. So I don't think they want to pull that route. Mine is not just that they've been sued many different times. They've been sued many different times, man. Like many different times. From the first day I worked there, I only went there to do my job, get the shit done, and that's it. Okay? That's it. Now, I'm not going to say specifically what, uh, you know, what area this one is in. But from the videos you've all seen, you probably already know by now. <sighs> Look, when it comes to me, I don't fear death. I don't fear it at all. Like, I don't. I have absolutely no fear of death, man, because I'm seeing how desperate the devil wants us to be in fear. And the fact that and here's the deal, the fact that the devil would be that freaking. Uh, now, you guys can see that this is clearly something I'm just going to go ahead and uh, check out the time out. You can see it's 830. You know, something's going on with this system. 
Because this is not, it, it, it doesn't take that long to initialize the system. It doesn't. It doesn't. But um, try it again. It won't work. It might not work, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, like, the, the thing about this is, like, that whole place, from what I started to realize, is complete, it's a den full of gang stalkers. That whole, that whole building is a den filled with them, okay? It's a freaking den. I wish I was making this up. I wish I wasn't, I, I wish this wasn't the case, but it is. Now, for me, I just go there and do my job, and that's it. I had to deal with a whole lot of crap on the daily. Yes, I do. I'm not going to go into details about that, but um, that's just what it is. This is my statement in case anything happens, because uh, let me tell you, man, I want people to be uh, understand other fellow targeted individuals. You are a witness to another targeted, uh, targeted individual's targeting. You are a witness to uh, them just as, and just as well as I'm a witness to you when it comes to your targeting. And I'm, will, I'm, I'm a willful witness to what you're going through. Just as well as I'm sure you would be a willful witness as to what I'm going through. And you see, you can't, the thing about this is you can't discredit several different people at once. You, you, you can't do that. It's not going to work, but um, I just want to go ahead and get this documented down, man, because uh, I can only imagine what other people are going through right now who have no idea. The first time I went through this, like I had no idea that this is it. That was exactly what they wanted was a fucking reaction. And I'm like, no way. This stuff is strategically designed to piss you off. It was designed to piss you off, to get you aggravated, to, you know, get mad, man. But, um, no, I'm not going to get mad. And uh, let me show you how I deal with situations like this. You see, I don't give them shit. I basically do this. Turn it off. Just that simple. You want to fuck with that? Hey, I cut it right the fuck off. Fuck it. I'm not even going to be bothered with it. If And, and again... That's something that's materialistic. People need to have a mentality like that because, well, you need to have a mentality to where you say, no, F this, whatever dirty money they're throwing in your face, you crumble that up and you literally toss it right in, right back in their face. That's what you do. That's exactly what you do. And you tell them, no, you screw off with your corruptive BS because uh, I'm not taking it anymore. I'm not dealing with your crap. I'm not putting up with your uh your um your insane bullshit and please part of my language, but I'm just kind of I'm not mad, but I'm just kind of like getting into character right now, um, and uh, and I'm, trust me, I sp I believe I speak for a lot of people saying this, but um that's just it, man. That's basically it. That if you want to know how you deal with that kind of crap, unplug it, forget about it, move on. Move on. Don't even don't even look back at it. Don't. That's only what like the second time I've tried dealing with this machine. So guess what? I'm not even going to I'm not even going to mess with it for the uh the whole 3 days that I'm off. You want to know what I'm going to do? I'm going to relax. I'm going to use the KO stones and tune them tune them the f out. That's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to use that mind blocker. I'm going to use that V2K blocker. I'm going to use that TV microwave energy blocker, all of that, and they won't be able to do a damn thing. Nothing. And I want them to hear this because basically here's my statement to you. I don't care what I don't care what what you're doing this for. I don't care how much they're paying you. I don't care what your reasons are. I don't. Because in the end, I'm 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 not gonna have to do it. I'm, I mean, once once everything is done and ended, my life is you know out, out the wazoo. I'm gonna do the best I can to help as many people out there. And if you think I'm gonna stop and not help people out through the threats, uh, yeah, no. You can threaten me all you want. You can say whatever you want. You can try to 
you know, psyop me. You can try to psych me out. All of, all these little petty things that they like to do. You can do as much as you want. But I'm not going to stop helping people. I'm not. Not for you. Not for anybody. Even if it costs me my own life. I dedicate myself to helping all fellow TIs out there as well as my family. But at the same time, I'm not going to go as far as to just helping uh, the enemy because you already know the enemy loves to infiltrate. And what I mean by, you know, my uh, even if it costs me my own life, I'm talking about literally just expo it's exposing the crap out of this organization to put a stop to it, to find the little bastard. Let me tell you something, man. The people who are paying these idiots to do this stuff, they are pit they are pissed ass scared, okay? Can you can you imagine the magnitude of how many people would rush to kick their ass if they found out exactly who they are? Can you imagine that? And that's how scared they are. They they are so scared that they pay other people off to pay other people off to pay more this that and the other person off to get shit done because they don't want to be brought out. But you got to understand they are trails. People who have been paid to do this dirty work have seen their face. These people's faces have been seen. People out there know who they are. They know where they're at and they know where they live at. Even now, as things get hectic, I don't even believe all these gang. I believe all of us, a lot of us are still being gang stalked. Yes, but I don't. From what I've seen, it's not as it's not as uh, much as it was before. Oh no, oh no. If you want to ask me what I believe was going on, I think some of the people who like weren't serious about the organization see what's going on, and they like fuck this, and they are trying to get themselves together to get the hell out. Because they've seen, if they're on the inside, they've seen the manipulation. They know the symptoms of what's going on. They know that they're putting 5G out there. They know this. They know this, man. They definitely do. Everybody, if you can hear me, please understand what I'm saying. Don't give yourself to technology. Flip the off. If they want to try, if they start messing with that, flip the off switch. Don't let a machine control you instead control the machine the machine the machine don't want to act right turn it off it's just that simple don't get a headache over it don't get aggravated over it don't do any of that because in the end it's just a means to an end we're reaching and getting very close to the turbulation period that's why they're getting so desperate because this this life that we're in now, the life that uh, Yahweh, the Most High, has given us is going to end either way, man. And uh, there's several different things that could do it. Uh, jelly, I think, what do they call that? Uh, I, I hope I'm saying this right. I think it was Jellystone Park I could, I, or, or uh, Yellowstone Park or whatever it is. If that volcano erupts, I mean, that's going to literally destroy like more than half the U.S. continent, okay? Uh, there's even reports about Saturn that can actually uh, get into the point where it's going to, uh, you know, explode. We're too close to that, and that could trigger a black hole, which would destroy the Earth, all right? There's also talks about Nibiru, Planet X, that could literally destroy this planet on impact. Not just half of it, the whole dang shebang, the whole darn thing. And if it isn't that, if it's not that, then we got to deal with the freaking Terminator of which these idiots are trying to uh, allow out on the streets and they don't understand. The Terminator does not feel anything. It doesn't feel no sense of emotion. So if it comes to killing somebody or something, it's not going to care. It's not going to feel compassion. It's not going to feel bad for you. It's just going to do what it has to do and let it be done. That's why I view most of these gang stalkers as non-humans. I don't see them as living. I don't see them as conscious beings anymore. I see them as robots. Because uh, please believe me, the behavior that I've seen 
it se- it seems like it, it, it is a, a person in a controlled state not n- no longer conscious of themselves anymore just controlled robots so, did, not not even cyborgs cuz at least a cyborg has a self conscious no these are robots okay they are robots programmed They've been programmed by all the filth and the BS that they feel with the TVs and stuff like that. Eddie Griffith said it best. They're telling you, visioning the programming. You're being programmed. That's just what this is. And these idiots go right along with it. 5G is in their kids' schools. And they're, I guarantee you these gang stalkers are still going to send their kids to school. I guarantee you this. I guarantee you this. They still going to send their kids to school even when the rumors are breaking out that these assholes are literally putting 5G in schools. Not just high schools, not just pre-K, not just elementary, maybe even colleges too. I don't even doubt it. And if you th- if it's not just there, it's going to be everywhere. Again, the behavior on any person who does any type of crime in this year, the past few years, or the next, with them putting these chemtrails out there, that's manipulation. Because first off, you are being exposed to a biotype weapon that you did not consent to, that they are using these radioactive frequencies to control you. That's what they're doing. When it comes to BS that's going on in half my life, do I blame myself after what the hell I found out about? No. I blame the assholes who put that stuff out there in the first place. If they hadn't been doing that, this the stuff that's going on right now, the crime and all that, would not even be a problem. It wouldn't even be happening. It wouldn't be happening. So you're damn right I'm going to blame them for this. I'm going to blame them for all of it. But you know something? Am I, am I going to get upset, pissed off, or mad? No. Because in the end, mo- the Most High is going to take care of this. The Most High is going to handle all of this, all of it. And they and they can't tell me that they're not afraid. First off, you, I mean, they're working for this organization. That's a sign of what fear. So they're definitely afraid. I don't care whether you're a guy. I don't care even if you're a fo- uh, even a woman. If you're a perp, you're scared. You're afraid. You have fear in you that they're using to control you because you don't want to be on the op- you're too afraid to be on the opposite end of it and you don't even know what the heck to do if you were but i said it before and i'll say it again they don't have to pay you if they can control you the fact that an, a person that's a perp doesn't realize oh excuse me doesn't realize that i don't know why I don't know where they got it in their head to where they think they're just going to be able to roam free after, you know, after the shit hits the fan. No, that's not what's going to happen. I'll say it once more. They don't have to pay someone who they have control over. They don't have to. They don't have to ask you, do you want to do this? They don't have to ask you if you want to do that. They'll just literally input the function and you're going to do it. I mean, I don't understand like. And this is how you know they've been programmed because, like, they see the shit for what it is, but they they don't act act out and actually literally put a stop to it. Because again, man, like they are after what I, this is, and again, this is another example as to why I say they are programmed. I literally they watch my channel. They watch my channel. I know this. They see all my videos, man. They see all of them. But at the same time, even after I went over the high fruit, the effects of high fructose corn syrup, which I don't even consume anymore, right? I still witness a perp drinking the shit. Now, what does that tell you? What does that tell you, honestly? Let me make sure this thing's still recording because I don't know if it is or not. Yeah, yeah, she's still going. Awesome. I still got to uh, scan this phone, too. For any vulnerabilities, but um, yeah, man, like it, 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 it's just that, like after seeing that, I'm like, dude, dude, like really? I didn't tell him. I didn't say nothing to him when I saw this, but I'm just like, uh, uh-uh, uh, 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 uh. They are too far gone. 
And here, here's the reality of this. These perps, they are so programmed that they are stu they're stupid. That's how bad it is. They are recklessly stupid. And they will destroy everyone without a care in the world because they are that controlled. The TV, the music has literally infected their minds into this hustler type mentality to where they're all stuck in la la land thinking that they're just going to be able to just enjoy all kinds of endless money. No, that shit's going to be cut off the minute that this organization gets precisely what it wants because you already gave it to them. They're not going to have to fucking feed you shit after that. They're going to turn a blind eye to you. They may even kill them off. Because guess what? This organization, the uh, the higher up motherfuckers, they have done it before. Barack Obama is, no, is a prime example of that. Oh, yes. Didn't SEAL Team 6 members come up missing and dead? Didn't the woman who signed his freaking birth certificate came up dead in a plane crash? I think so. So they think that they're safe. It's because they're working. For, no, if anything, here's the deal. They say, keep your enemies close and keep your, uh, no, no. They say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer, right? Who do you think would be the major, the biggest enemy of this organization? The people who work for it, the people who work for it because they know everything. They know where this shit's coming from. They know who's hiring this shit. They know who's giving out instructions. They know all, all of this. So what do you, how, do you, do you need to understand the magnitude of even one of them defecting? That person knows too much. They would kill that person off. Okay. That's what they would do. And it, it, it might be in a, you know, be responsible in saying this? Absolutely not. Because here's the thing. We've already know what this is, man. This stuff is already well involved in the gang territory. It's all well, well involved in the drug trafficking, the sex trafficking. And yes, the sex trafficking goes in multiple ways. These purple traders don't have a shit type of excuse to tell me on anything about to justify their actions. Because they, the people who they're working for, they're the ones who created this kind of behavior. They're the ones who created this type of uh, uh, the, the, these different sexualizations in different directions. They work for it. So they can't tell anybody else uh, right from wrong. They can't because they're doing dirt because of who, who and what they're working for and what they're representing. When they represent a company like that, a, a covert organization like that, they're representing every single taboo in the book. Every one. Every single one. And in the end, a lot of us who are just in a, at a young age, man, at a young age, when we start off, like we just, we're just, we're just supposed to be exposed to just BS and then grow up and then, oh, well, like, look what, look at what this person's doing. Look at what that person's doing. That's the exact kind of shitty stuff that they do. They've done it more on multiple occasions. I've seen this. I have seen this a lot. Happened it to so many people, and I find it just completely dis disgusting, okay? I find it unbelievably disgusting. How, especially people who know, to just let that just happen. Like, like, are you serious? You just fuck up a person's childhood. Now, this person's doing who knows what due to manipulation, because yes, I mean, the cell towers are out there. We already have seen the evidence as much as there is. And I, I, I don't even know what else to say about it, man. I really don't because the proof is there. Too many people out here know what's really going on. And these assholes are super scared because of the truth could get out. But you want to know what I believe? I believe they got a whole bunch of former gang stalkers who have defected. I believe they got a whole bunch of people who were on the inside that defected. Look at Brian. I, 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 I'm not really sure what uh, Brian Two's old occupation was, but um, he he seems to have like a lot of insider information. So I think, who knows? Maybe he used to work for them. I don't know. I'm not saying that he did. I'm not saying that he uh, that that he you know that he didn't. I don't know. I didn't see enough of his videos to really get a clear uh, you know a clear perspective on that. But um, 
do I appreciate the content he provides for everyone and uh, helping to end this? Of course. Everyone who promotes content, who shares content, to help uh, people to be able to fight this, I completely have faith in all of you. When we sin, that's not us sinning. No. Not with this stuff out there. No. It's not. What that is is an unseen enemy using manipulation to trick people into sinning. That's what this is. It's not just uh, I'm not just a, I'm not the only victim of this either. There are dozens of other people out there who are also victims to this. Much much more. Um, let me go to uh. I hope I don't have to put in my passcode, but I might have to. Yes, yeah, trying to let me. Yeah, I'm not even gonna do that then. Um, there's a. You guys need to. Uh, I'm gonna probably if I find one, and I did earlier. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video. Not the script. I'll, I'll leave it in the comic section so you can find it. Um, what it is. It's a link to a, uh, a a rife frequency that can help you deal with this. Uh, it again, it's it's not the coronavirus is a psyop, okay? It's it, it's not that. It's five G that they're using on people. That's why they wanted you in your homes so that they can they got contractors outside right now installing this crap everywhere throughout the whole neighborhoods, throughout the school systems. But they're hiding this because you want to know something. This 5G shit was not tested. It wasn't tested to see how it would affect human, uh, uh, you know, bodily functions, uh, human health of any kind. This shit wasn't tested. So for them to put something out there like that was very illegal. People only have to find one of these units out there to know that if there's clearly one, there's clearly going to be more. Okay? That's it. You find one, you... You get to the point to where there's got to be an investigation going on because clearly if there's one setup, there's got to be more. There's got to be more. Because first off, why, especially if you find it in the school, in any school, you people are going to be wondering, like, what the what the F was this doing here? This has this is this is technically something that hasn't been tested to try to see. And yes, it has been tested. We're victims of this. But, you know, you know what they like to do. You know what they like to do. Oh no, 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 no. Uh now maybe you're just being paranoid. Maybe you just uh oh, I don't know. Maybe you just you just don't know what you're talking about. You're just overthinking. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard some shit like that, I'd be a rich man right now. Well, not really like extremely rich, because I've learned to like how to deal with that. I don't like rush as I stated before, I don't rush at the most littlest things. I let the crap build up, and that's when I make my approach. I'll show them saying uh, this happened on this date at this time at this location. Um, I, I, now normally, I could have just complained about it, but no. I uh, was curious to see if there was going to be multiple attempts, so I took my documentation down. And lo and behold, there's been multiple, uh, in, uh, you know, perpetrations of uh, the same act or something similar on either the same object or same thing or same place or something entirely different, but of the same nature. So as you would be able to see, this is not something orchestrated by me because first off, I wasn't around to do this. And plus, I wouldn't even do this to myself. No way. I wouldn't do it. And if I would have, well, I would have. Don't you think I would have already since been done it? Because I think that would be the case. But, you know, yeah. Anyway, um, you get, you got to learn how to uh, basically mess, you know, use the situation as it is. Um, in fact, then I'll think about it. Uh, I, I, one of the best things is that uh, now for the PlayStation, don't even worry about that. That thing has logs. So, like, if someone fucks with my account, I'm going to know. And, um, well, if they mess with that, well, PSN, they're going to let me know exactly who did it. Because, first off, that person's going to have an IP address. That person's going to have a location. That person's going to have an access point. So, I'm going to know. 
Um, not to mention, like, that thing does logs for, like, any notifications and stuff that you get, man, like, that all goes down and gets sent to you at the same time when you go online. So, I'm, I, again, I'm going to know. So, don't worry about that as far as I know. I'm not even going to mess with that, man. But um, I just want people to understand, don't give your all to technology, okay? Don't do that, man. Don't see it as a need. See it just as a, uh, a convenience. Nothing and nothing more than that. It's just a convenience. You can replace that shit, but you can't replace another you. You can't replace another you. Anyway, it's almost like nine o'clock. I think we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, again, everyone stay safe, stay strong. This is MM. I'm over and out.